the debate stage is going to get bigger. And instead of six candidates, there's going to be seven. No, I'm sorry. Tulsi Gabbard is not on it. And I like it. We talked about this in the Patreon show, but God, the article does mention this is from 538. So don't worry. I'm not taking this guy. He's the numbers yeah. guy. Yeah, never uses his feelings. I, I, I know. Understand. I know. I, know. I, I know. But I, I, I want to look at this more of a bigger picture on what our own theories will be. Jerome, Daniel, why don't you weigh in on this? But here's as it stands right now. Tom Steyer will be on the debate stage. And right now, Yay. all the candidates. Yeah, I guess, I guess so. By gosh. <laughs> By, By gosh. gosh. By gosh. gosh. By gosh. Yeah. So basically, he'll be on the debate stage. So the people will be on there. Will be Senator Bernie Sanders, Senator Elizabeth Warren, former Mayor Pete Buttigieg, Peter Buttigieg, Mayor Pete Buttigieg, former <laughs> Mayor, Mayor Peter, Peter, Buttigieg. Peter Buttigieg. He, I heard he. It's good like, to say his full name. Yeah, I feel like you guys like love just saying yeah. his name. I know you don't. Yeah. Uh, and then there's <laughs> former, remember, guys. I just very quickly. He doesn't like. Being called, Peter. being called Peter. So let's make sure we say his full name. Yeah, oh, I didn't respect. know that. Yeah, we, That's we, why. We, we were told this. So <laughs> there we go. Uh, former Vice President Joe Biden will be there. Senator Amy Klobuchar. Everyone ducks. She's throwing staplers at everybody. <laughs> Mayor Mike Bloom, Mini Mike Bloom, uh, Doomburger. Mayor Mini Mike Doomburger. That's perfect. Yes. <laughs> Mayor Mini Mike Doomburger. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, okay. that, that is, yeah. I like that. I, okay, that, that, that there we go. It. That does it. Uh, sounds like a, a reject Dr. Doom. <laughs> I just uh, see him with a mask and he's like a mini version of yes, him walking yes, around. Yes, yes, a dime store version. not him be the president say, we'll blow up the city of New York. <laughs> In 12 like, oh, you're hours. you're so cute. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Mini Mike, I'm going to pick you up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so these are the candidates who will be on the debate stage and of course sadly Tulsi Gabbard being the only other major candidate that's not on the debate stage will not participate even though the deadline to qualify is technically not until 11 1159 p.m eastern standard time tonight but knowing how to DNC and like how to how they like to cherry pick the rules, how they like to pick things out, and you know, like choose, I like to yeah. pick up Mike Bloomberg. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I feel like uh, we can make yeah, something. Tulsi out will of not be on there. But I think it's very important how we look at this debate night and what we think our predictions will be. Here's the real truth. Um, you know, we've been saying this for a long time, uh, especially during previous other debates. Well, certain cans are going to go after this can because he's apparently the front runner. But here's the real fact: Bernie Sanders is going to have an epic target on his back, and his team needs to be prepared. In fact, good old Minnie. Mike uh, Doomberger has chosen to opt out of this town hall so he can prep for the tomorrow's debate now what does that mean by prepping he's probably going to watch bernie sanders town hall and try and go after him for every single thing probably going to bring up a lot of negative things so my only advice to the bernie sanders campaign is be prepared to fight back at people who you once called friends it's, of the debate stage. You have to be aggressive, unapologetic, and explain to people why you are winning, not only in Iowa, New Hampshire, and Nevada, but how you're going to win in South Carolina, because this is going to be a serious fight for Bernie. This is the fight for uh, in which we can actually get the narrative away from corporate media. But remember, we also have to deal with the moderates. So what does this mean? Well, Biden's going to try and somehow make himself relevant because he's apparently the comeback kid going at second place was what, 19% of the vote in Nevada. Then you have Amy Klobuchar and Pete Buttigieg who are foaming at the mouth trying to get revenge on Sanders. Then you have, you know, mini Mike Doomberger who is embarrassed by everybody. In fact, I hope that everyone still decides to curb stomp him again because he has no business being there. Um, yeah, we have to deal with the fact that Warren could possibly, very likely, will go after Sanders as well. And it's it's going to be disgusting and ugly. I, 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 I do cling on to that one one percent of hope that maybe that won't happen but i gotta come back down to reality and be like no no warren's gonna go after sanders too and then there is the possibility i don't know like tom steyer has been shockingly nice to sanders at all the previous debates here and there so i don't know what role he will play or what anything he can offer because again at this point, after South Carolina and after uh, Super Tuesday, we did a poll on our YouTube community page. How many candidates do you guys see come, dropping out after those two significant races? I mean, it, 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 it's, it's, it's anyone's game at this point. But right now, what are your the what are your thoughts, you know, possible theories, outcomes that could happen on tomorrow? So Daniel will start so, and then we want to get on. I just Rome. wanted to say before that it's a real shame that Bernie hasn't had, I don't know, about four years of people asking him tough questions all the time, unfair <laughs> questions. On, so it's, I mean, he has no, I mean, he's, he's going to be like Mike Bloomberg. He's not going to know what to say when they ask him one of the five questions that it's always asked of him. Hey, Bernie Sanders, aren't you hypocritical for being a socialist and having a bunch of property? 
First Vice Democratic Socialist. So again, you're going to have that. Hey, Bernie Sanders, how are you going to pay for the thing that you've explained how to pay for that's on your website explaining how to pay for? <laughs> hey, but you haven't told us to the exact dollar how much it's going to cost. So it's not, you haven't given us a good answer. And they're going to, of course, bring up Bernie Sanders child care. Hey, Bernie Sanders, I know kids are nice, but how are you going to pay for it? Hey, Bernie, isn't gonna, it going to be hard to do anything when you're a socialist? Um, what else is there that we're going to have? We're, we're getting have, a hey, lot in the hey, chat. Bernie Everyone's Sanders. going to drop out on Super Tuesday. That's, that's yeah. what we're getting a lot in the mm -hmm. chat. Yeah, so what's going to happen is this is like, this is what we talked about. That's what I was talking about about a week ago is that what's going to happen is Bernie Sanders is the front runner. Everyone's going to attack him. Uh, they're going to ask him a set of like five or six questions that we already know, that we've already heard a thousand times over the last four years, half decade almost. And Bernie Sanders is going to expertly swat them away, talk about how he's leading, how he's doing really well. And then what's going to happen after the debate, just like I was saying last week, there's going to be a massive consolidation effort. So right now, Sanders' numbers are artificially lowered because of this giant split. You have Warren still in the race. You have all these people in the race, and that's bringing down the average low. And then, of course, mainstream media is like, well, he used to get 60% of the vote in New Hampshire four years ago, but now he's only getting less than that. So he must be doing terrible. So that entire uh, tenant is going to fall apart. Now, the thing that's going to be important about this and the timing is – by the time this consolidation happens and we get down to two, three, four candidates still in the race, Sanders will have won, what, 90, 95% of the states, probably get 35, 40% of the vote. So by the time this consolidation effort happens, it's going to be after Super Tuesday, Sanders is going to be the even as much of a front runner as he is right now, already breaking all records. It's going to be even more evident then everyone that that is going to vote for the winner, which are actually a lot of centrist people, are going to switch over to Sanders. And then if you have Doomburger or you have anyone else that's left over, right. they're all going to be seen as people just, why are you in the race? You're so, so far behind. So here's just a couple things, and I need to hand this over to Jerome too, but I want to clarify a couple things. Wesley Wiles, shout out to you, buddy. Haven't heard from you in a while. Chris Matthews just apologized to Bernie about the Nazi comparison over on air 20 minutes ago and said- There's that access journalism. Yeah, there you go. Brick going right yeah. by us. It said his victory was actually well deserved. Uh, Squad Plus One was bringing up some stuff of how you know corporate media might go after Bernie Sanders for his past, what he's done in his past. I don't know. You he went you, on a honeymoon in the Soviet, Soviet Russia, even though he didn't. Uh, right. He went, he, right, he, right, right, right. Hold on. Wait. 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 Because Jerome needs to weigh in on this too. Yeah. Uh, Tuesday, uh, March third is Super Tuesday. So Jerome, uh, just wanted to say that I'm 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 just bummed that. Tulsi's not going to be on stage. Uh, you know, we talked about this yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, we made a little clip about, uh, you know, getting on the debate stage. And, like, I don't want to see Bloomberg on there. Like, I would have loved to just... But he's a billionaire. Yeah, I guess. I mean, if you're a billionaire, you get to be in whatever stage you want, apparently. But, um, yeah, that's really all That's all, That's really all I had to say. I just... Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a shame that we can't get to see people who deserve to be on there you know, have an, an an actual intellectual debate, but and Tulsi could add, can very and like here's the real she she can add in a lot and I know that during the past debate she's been doing her own live stream so that's that's a real thing but at the end of the day we're going to be covering that debate tomorrow so please tune in just to clarify again we're going to be covering Bernie Sanders CNN Town Hall in a different live stream tonight so stay tuned with us.